everybody, this is Glider Camp, and it's time to play. Today we're going to start a new Let's Play on a game called Salt 2, Shores of Gold. This game has not yet been released it's, as I record this. It's going to be released, I think, in about a week. Um, so real soon as I record this. Um, and I am playing an alpha build and or the beta. So I'm going to call this a beta release. There's some information about the beta here, but we're just going to jump right on in with a new game. And let's call this my creative names, Glider Cat Let's Play Season 1. How's that? Uh, World Seed, we'll go with default. Um, yeah, we'll go with default. Let's just jump in. I played this game for about an hour uh, so far. I had reached out to the developer back in early April about um, seeing if they would be willing to give me a press key. And they just granted that key. So we're jumping in. I played the original Salt and had fun with it uh, a couple of years ago. So I've had my eye on this game for a while. Okay, it seems the gods have smiled upon you today. A stranger in a strange land. Adrift. Alone. Nevertheless, I'm afraid I must leave now. Good luck. All right. All right, here we are. New beginnings. Read the note on the table. It says in the top right. Let's go do that. I see a table here, and I see another table over there. Nothing I can pick up here. Let's read the note. Okay, if you're reading this, you didn't die. I found you shipwrecked and barely clinging to life. Unfortunately, I have somewhere I need to be. There's a cave north of camp with enough supplies to build a raft and get off this island. If I were you, I'd build the raft and head for the nearest seaport. I'm leaving a map, compass, and sextant on the table here. The map contains coordinates to a seaport. Use the compass and sextant to navigate there. Once you've done so, it might be a good idea to talk to the cartographer. If you're going to survive out there, you need a proper ship and crafting stations to place on it. Maybe he can help you upgrade to a better vessel and get you on your way. Good luck, stranger. Maybe we'll meet again. Well, we didn't actually meet. But, uh, sure. All right, we've got some things to pick up here. F2, pick things up. Sextant. Hey, use a sextant item to find your current coordinates and a compass to determine your direction. You'll often discover coordinates to interesting locations. You can mark a destination on your map to keep track of it. All right, we'll see that in a bit. Okay, we got a little sword here. Most melee weapons have primary and secondary attacks. Hold the attack button to activate the secondary attack, which is generally slower, but deals more damage. You can also block with most weapons by holding the right mouse button or the left trigger on the gamepad by default. I'm paying, playing on a keyboard. And a perfectly timed block at the last second will parry the enemy, opening them up for a critical hit. All right, keep that in mind. We've got a map. Let's grab that. And an empty bottle. Let me grab that. And then let's just look around and see what we've got here in our surroundings. Looks like there's an ore. Can we pick that up? Nope. Doesn't look like it. These are... Oh, there was a bottle I could pick up. Starfish? Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like it. All right. We've got a place to rest. Looks like there's some rope there. Let's grab that. And then there's nothing on the surface here we can grab. But let's uh see. Okay. We can craft a raft here and we can craft a... Wave Skipper. This looks like a little bit better of a ship. But let's, before we do any of this stuff, uh, it says find and enter the cave up in the top right. Let's explore this island a little bit. Whoops, I think I just stood in the fire and took some, <laughs> and took some damage. Uh, hopefully that won't be a problem. All right, I'm hitting E here to get to my little radial menu. I'm going to just equip this cutlass as we explore. Wood sapling, we can harvest that. Be some flowers here. Let's loot those. Sure, doesn't look like I can pick up rocks at all. Can we go underwater? Let's just check. Uh, not really. Looks like we can swim on the surface. Re-equip my sword here. Let's uh check things out. I don't think we can cut down trees, but we can harvest this stuff. Wood sapling. Let's see what we get in the lower right. Whoops. Uh, or in the middle right. 
two wood logs for that. So that must be how we get wood. Sandy Grotto. All right, let's explore this area. I'm going to loot, loot. Uh, herbs. Okay, we got plant fibers from that one. And plant fibers from that one. Okay, it looks like there's obviously a tunnel or a cave there for us to go into. Let's just check the surrounding area here before we do. See if there's anything to harvest. Uh, this looks interesting. This definitely looks like a mineral deposit. I don't have a pickaxe yet. Maybe I will pick one up soon. All right, we got a cooking station we can use. I see something else to harvest. Let's go harvest a little bit, then we'll go into the cave. Now we can grab more mineral deposits here. I'm not sure what those are. Check on top. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go into this cave and see what this is all about. Okay, that loaded so fast I could not read the message. All right, let's keep an eye out for enemies here. Nothing in that crate. Nothing in that crate. Okay, I see a bear straight ahead. And a skeleton that looks dead. <laughs> Meaning it's not going to come after us. Ooh, where'd the bear go? He just disappeared. Uh, not crazy about that. Our eyes peeled here. Uh, five copper and a human bone. Here he comes. Let's see if we can get the jump on this guy. Is he getting me? I don't think so. Okay, we got him. Easy. And then I think we just hold down F to loot things. Okay, five copper out of there. Doesn't look like I can pick up the lantern. We already harvested him. Uh, there's some little mushrooms here. Let's grab those. Keep our eyes peeled for more of those. Looking on the ground, anything we can harvest. Another mineral deposit there. A few more mushrooms. Let's grab these up. Uh, empty bottles. We can loot them. We'll take them. Nothing in the barrel. All right, bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's see what we get. Boy, a ton of stuff. Wood logs, sandpaper, rope, oil, linen, health potions, copper ingots, and cooking oil. Boy, we'll take it. Just hold down the F key. Oh, there's our pickaxe. Grab that. Grab this. Grab a couple bananas. I'm sure they're fresh in this cave. More mushrooms. We're going to read the note here in a second. I want to... Make sure I explore everywhere I can explore. Dark corner. I wonder if there's anything hidden in here. It sure seems really dark. Uh, chest here. Uh, just some coins. More minerals to mine. Let's uh, grab the treasure chest before we forget. Okay, throughout your adventure, you'll discover crafting recipes. Interact with these recipes in your inventory to learn them. You can then craft them by using the appropriate crafting station. You can also see all learned recipes in the known recipes section of the pause menu. And you can track any recipe from there or at a crafting station. You can track any recipe from there. I'm not sure what track means, but that's all right. What else we got? That almost looks harvestable. No, just a crack. Uh, nothing here done that we still have a note to read more mushrooms let's grab these guys I'm sure they're useful for something looking 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 more mushrooms we'll take those I want to try mining this ore but let's read the note first did I get this barrel yeah I did all right where was that table here most of the entries in this journal are illegible except for one final note scribbled hastily. I found the cave. According to my sources, there's a hidden alcove with treasure in here somewhere. Apparently a breakable boulder of some kind. 
The note was clear. The dead man points the way. What does that mean, though? Hmm, that's not very tough. <laughs> Wait, I hear something. Sounds like growling. Okay, the bear must have got her buddy here. She was writing his note. We've got a pickaxe, and they mentioned there's kind of a hidden area behind a rock. I'm guessing that would be at the back, wouldn't it? Uh, let's get our pickaxe armed. And let's look for a place that looks like a rock that we could break. Oh, I didn't... Did I not grab this copper? No. That's where we came in. About this mess. Oh, I heard some kind of music. Okay, yeah, it was right next to it. Here's our little hidden alcove. No enemies. Just a big chest here. Let's do it. Item talents. Many quibble, quibble items, such as armor and weapons, have talents that you can customize. Inspect an item to see its talent tree. Talents on items are randomized when they are dropped or crafted. Look for a specific roll of talents on an item. You can craft it multiple times to try and find the best combination. All right. Was that just information? or Oh, no. Here's all the stuff. Arrows, a ring recipe, three more health potions, morning dew, plant oil, sage, sand-stained wooden chest, and a scholar's tunic. All right. Let's grab up all that. And then let's see if we can use our pick on those mineral deposits or those ore deposits that we saw laying around. Where are they? I don't think there's anything up here. There's one straight ahead. Nothing here, right? Nope. How about this? A okay, copper vein that says at the top of the screen. Rapidly click that. We got copper, flint, sandstone, and stone out of that. We'll take it. Not sure what that's all used for yet. But we'll take it. Oh, here's another one. Oops. Let me get close. Hmm, why does that say empty? Oh, that's, we already uh, broke open this node. And so it kind of behaves like a chest, right? We cracked open the rock and then it becomes a chest. This should probably just disappear, but looks like it's implemented a little different than that. I thought there was at least one more little node, a copper node in here. Not for sure we walked by two of those. Or maybe it was just me walking in circles. Nothing back here. Do you one more quick scan here? There it is. Okay, a little more copper ore. And then we did harvest the bear. Yep, empty. All right, I think that's it for here. Let's hop out and then take a look at our inventory. Uh, I gotta actually hit F to get out of here. Okay, health potions are crucial to your to surviving combat. You can hotkey health potions by hovering over the item and pressing one of the hotkey buttons, one through four, or something on the gamepad. You can also craft health potions at cooking stations. Okay, let's uh, let's do that suggestion. I'm gonna go into my inventory, and where would health potions be? There they are. Now, if I just hit one, boom, looks like I put it over here in the bottom right. So hopefully that's like a, a hit one that'll lead a health potion. We'll try it once we get into battle. Food's looking good. I've got five bananas. There's 91 out of 100 stuffed when I mouse over here on the bottom left. Stamina's good. And then health. I took damage. I walked into a fire. Not too bright. Okay, what else we got? We got a re uh, thing we're supposed to learn here. Interact to learn this recipe. All right, let me just click it. And learn it. Okay, Commander's Ring. Uh, this is... What is this? Crafting. So this says crafting. How do I craft? Okay, we're in the inventory screen. Oh, crafting materials for... That's, okay, we're not going to craft here. This is just categories of our inventory. Okay, let's go up top on equipment. Body feet. We don't have anything. Can I put on that tunic thing? Let's do it. 
Heavy Tunic with a good bonus to Constitution. Plus two Constitution, plus three armor. One talent remaining. Inspect to select item talents. Hmm, how do I do that? Inspect. Okay, select item, select nothing. Let's see. Inventory. Armor. I don't want to do that. Inspect to select the item talents. All right. All right. Scholar's tunic. Okay, we saw this. This tunic is sometimes worn by lower ranking members of the Sea Scholar's Guild. Unequip clothes. Reset talents and unequip. Okay, here's our talents. Click a talent to activate it. Increases damage with swords or increases damage with pickaxes. Let's go increases damage with swords. I'm guessing we only get one. Does it say how many talents we've got? Can I activate them both? No. Okay, we'll take that. What else were we going to do? This is all of our inventory. We got a few arrows. We did not get um, a bow yet, I don't think. We've got food, bear meat we could probably cook. Let's look and see what we can do at this cooking station. Cooked bear. We need cooking oil, which we must have picked up from one of the chests. Let's craft up a couple of those. And we haven't killed any venison. Cooking oil. We can make cooking oil. Let's do it. Fabric dye. We need white ball mushrooms. I'm not sure which mushrooms we picked up in the cave, but it must not have been those. We need more plant fibers for that. Fried bass. We haven't done any fishing. Health potion. Looks like we can make one. The yellow flowers and morning dew. Where's morning dew? That's the next one down. We need fibers, more flowers, and empty bottles. So we'll just keep an eye on that kind of stuff to pick it up. Yeah, bottles. Same kind of thing here. For plant oil. Stamina potion. No, I don't usually worry about that. All right, let's explore our island. We got more stuff to mine. Again, it kind of just turns into a chest once it's uh, cracked open. And let's keep our eyes peeled. I guess I'll circle around the edge of the coast. Looking for stuff to harvest. And then eventually we're going to get off this island. But I want to kind of exploit all the resources I can first. Look at that little tiny flower plant. Nice. Uh, that's harvestable. Let's grab it. Kind of try and hug the coast. Look for minerals. Look for plant matter. There's the one we can grab. An aisle for flowers. I see some stuff over here. Mineral deposit. Now this says immune. Requires level 30 mining. Hmm. We're not level 30. If we want to see our level, let's look at uh, skills. Okay, weapons and armor. Zeros across the board. Crafting and gathering. Zeros across the board. Although we're herbalism. That must be from harvesting the plants. Cooking. Cooked a couple bear meats. And then mining, we're still at level zero, but we'll get there. And let's kind of try and stay near the coast if we can. There's something to harvest. We'll grab it. Anything else over here? Don't think we can cut the trees. I think we get wood from kind of harvesting those twig-looking things. Or little saplings. What is this up here? I know, bamboo, I can't get it, but I do see one of these, so I'll take it. And I see another one in the distance, so I'll take it. I apologize if we're going to run around in circles a bit. Uh, I see herbs this way. These guys, herbs, plant fibers, and plant fibers. Can't pick up their little rocks. See more, another little stone. Sapling, or I don't know what you'd call this thing. Wood sapling, yeah. Grab it. Don't think there's flowers there we can grab. Nope. There's a mineral. Now that looks different. Yeah, we can't. Requires level 20 mining.
Nothing to harvest there. Boom. Take that. Ooh, we leveled up on our herbalism just by harvesting stuff. Level two on that now. See another sapling here. Boom. Might as well grab this stuff while we see it. Before we get off this island, I'm sure we're going to move off this island. Probably not this episode, but we will. I played for about an hour before starting this series, so I've got a tiny idea about what to do here in the early game, but by no means am I an expert in the game. Looks pretty nice. Looks a lot nicer than the uh, predecessor, the first Salt game, but I did have fun with that. Yeah, see another sapling down here. More herbs. I think this... Well, is that going to help us make potions or not? I don't know. We're just getting plant fibers. The flowers help with some of that. Okay, well, did we just go up again? Yeah, we leveled up again. Guessing that was herbalism. Yeah, we're at level three. We'll take it. No enemies on this little starter island, it looks like, other than the bear in that cave and the fire that I walked into. Is that a deposit up there? The distance? No, this is just a bunch of bushes. Kind of try and make my way around the perimeter and then we'll uh, try to do the center of the island. It's a little hard. We don't really have a map. Now, let's take a look. There is a map. But uh, we don't have anything indicated <laughs> on it. There's like nothing in, on here. So we have to discover locations. I thought they gave us one. Here it is. Map to the seaport. Chosen island at 2 east and 3 south. So let's click on that and see if I can get that on the map. Click waypoint. Okay, there it is. And if I mouse over any of these little squares, you'll see here in the top right, it's telling me one of the coordinates. 2 east and 3 south. And then I think I used the sextant. Where's that? Here. And how do I use this? Just primary click. So that tells me my current location. Go back to the map. There's where we are and there's where we want to go. But we're going to need the raft to get there. But in the meantime, I still want to harvest out this island if I can. Any useful resources. Especially since there's no enemies. So it's kind of a... Easy pickings. And we'll level up a few skills. There's a deer. Wonder if we could go after that guy. There's another one straight away. Let's bring up our handy dandy sword here. And let's go after the first one we saw. There he is. Can we corner this guy? Ooh, I got a hit in on him. Feels like I'm not moving pretty fast. Ooh. Ooh, two hits done. Okay, we get antlers, guts, raw deer meat, rawhide. That I'm sure is all useful. Do we want to try and find the other one? Harvest as we go. That one was back this way, right? There it is. Ooh, that's even a different one. I thought the one we saw didn't have horns. Let's see. I want to kind of corner it if I can. I don't want to run across the island. Harvest as I go. Okay, there he is straight ahead. Okay, this one's on to us. We just leveled up. Uh, this one's kind of fast. Not fast enough. All right. Okay, we got that. Harvested up. Getting dark. think I'm okay. Although this is not going to be the best for YouTube, huh? Hunting around here in the dark. Uh, 
Let's see. Get dark in a hurry. Not much warning. We can try. <laughs> we can try and meander our way back to our camp, and maybe cook some food. Oh, there's another deer. You think we could get one in, in the dark here? The answer is yes. Okay, raw deer meat, raw hide, and antlers. We'll take it all. And then I saw a. Well, I saw flowers, but I thought I saw something that we could mine. Thought I saw a mineral deposit. Maybe it was just that flower bush. All right, I'm down to four bananas. I still am pretty good on hunger. I'm going to try to make my way to the interior, see if we can't find the campsite. And maybe sleep through the night here. We'll harvest as we go. There is no map of the island. I really wish there was. Do a little more harvesting here. See something straight ahead. There's one of the sites. Is this... Have we been here? No. Drunken man's shack. All right, drunken man. We could rest here, it looks like. There's a couple bottles. Maybe we'll do that. But let's see what this is all about. Looks like we got another note. Raw deer meat. Uh, wooden bowl. Yeah, it's hard to see, but I'm going to grab this stuff. A bag. Nothing in the bag. Okay, let's read this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, can I get out in the moonlight or something? Uh, okay, that needs to be improved. I can hardly read that. The rum has gone to my head again. Can't even remember where I hid the key to the storage shed. I feel like it was on a stone. No, on a tomb. No, a tombstone. Yeah, that was it. Wait, I need another drink first. All right, let's uh, skip out of that, I think. Okay, we need to find... A key on a, on a tombstone. Let's um, harvest some stuff here. And then I think what we'll do... Okay, we got a clam. I think what we'll do... Let's see if we can rest and get back to daylight. Because this is not so great for uh, YouTube viewing. Do you want to wait until sunrise or rest until sunrise? Resting will heal you to half your health and increase your hunger. Sure. Okay, there. Sunrise. Uh, that's rest. I can't cook there. I can harvest some stuff while I see it. This is very opportunistically. We're going to double back. I'm going to grab this stuff while I see it. All right. We need to find a tombstone. Get this harvested too. We got some oil out of that stone. Interesting. Okay, there's our buddy. He's got a bunch of bottles. We saw that we need these for some recipes for our health potion and the dye and all that. Okay, can we get in here? We cannot. We gotta find a key. Let's uh, put our sword on here just in case we encounter hostiles. I don't think we're going to. Okay, we're supposed to be looking for a tombstone. And I'm guessing it's close by. Hopefully it's not on the other side of the island somewhere. Let's just keep circling. Further and further out. And keep our eyes peeled for a tombstone. That we've already emptied. We can harvest. Hey, okay, looking for something like a tombstone. That's just a regular old rock. Okay, nothing here. Oh, check it out. There we go. Here's our key. Loot that. Anything else to harvest while we're over here? I don't see anything. Let's go check out the storage shed here. 
Use the abandoned shack key to unlock? Sure. Boom. No enemies. Bottles. We'll take those. Looks like some rope there, too. We'll get it. Oh, uh, hey, there's a bow. Hey, sneak by pressing C on the keyboard or right thumbstick on the gamepad by default. While sneaking, attacks deal extra damage to unaware enemies. And you make no noise when you move. You can lead. You can land sneak attacks at range by using the bow while crouched. Okay. Like it? Uh, let's see. This big chest looks promising. Gave us six more arrows, two health potions, and a lock pick. Take it. And what else? Some coins, a couple bananas. We do need to eat. Uh, can I crouch? Yeah, I see, right? Boom, boom, boom. Again, I think we need those for uh, crafting. Nothing in the barrel, and I can't do anything with this little pitcher. It's like an island or something. Uh, can't take the candles. And that is it for this little storage shack. Hey, what? Let's wrap this first episode right here. Next episode, we will continue to explore the island and then maybe we feel like we've got it uh, fully exploited and we've gotten all the resources off of here. Maybe we can uh, build the raft and then go to that location we've got on our map. Only got one place to go. So, uh, yeah, we'll get to that next episode. For now, this is Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on, ra on Salt 2. Uh, just getting started here, but uh, looks pretty good. Plays pretty smooth. I'm playing a beta version. The game has not yet been released on Steam, but as I record this, I think it's about a week out, maybe. But pretty cool so far. I'll see you all in the next episode.